Make sure y'all join us today. We'll have a nice conversation. We're going to talk about fasting today. I'm using the body butter. Once again, there you go. Right up there in the screen. You can see it for yourself. And I'm looking forward to having this discussion with you today. All right. This is Brother Hot Tim saying, Welcome to the Daily Toast. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Alright, so hey, today it's time for us to do our daily toast. And of course, family, I always ask you to stay hydrated with me. You know, water is life, yo. So let's make sure we get in our water. I'm trying to do about 32 ounces. Today the topic, topic is going to be fasting, but of course we always got to salute the ancestors first. So we salute our ancestors through our body, making sure that we're healthy. Drink that water with me, fam. Drink that water with me. And get your health drink ready so we can toast the ancestors. But before we toast the ancestors, we we go and make sure our body is straight. For those that's just joining me, we are going to be sampling this ginseng ambrosia. Now we we some those that have been with me, y'all know for a fact we've been doing this one. But this one right here has been sitting undeserved, undisturbed for seven days, over seven days, and we are going to sample that today. So drink up your water. Stay hydrated. Mm. 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 All right. So I'm uh, experimenting with this chlor, this chlor oxygen. Woke up this morning, my tongue was green. Like what the hell? Alright, y'all know I like to overdo stuff, so I'm adding this to my water regimen for a couple of days. I'm going to do a review on this. She says, is, is it the ambrosia with cognac? Nah, that's that ambrosia with the uh, ginseng root. But that's not a bad idea. Ambrosia with cognac, huh? Alright, um, that's Tremaine, Miss Tremaine Mayfield, welcome, have some water with me, you know the body is full of that eye shade, that energy, we got to get it flowing, so we're going to sample this chlor oxygen, see how it works. Mm. Supposed to help build up those red blood cells. Ah, all right, 
Now it's time to toast the ancestors. So we're going to use the old ginseng root, the one we've been using. We'll sample that one after we get done with the toast. But it's Memorial Day, fam, and you all got people that you should be remembering. Oops. We all got people we should be remembering on this day. Let's salute our ancestors. And I'm doing it with my help drink. Get your help drink. You know, some of y'all are going to be on that liquor. I understand. I understand. I'm putting the top on this now. Taking the breather off. So first, giving honor to the, to the um, creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call on that power, that great power that surrounds us and flows around us and flows from within us. It's already around us. We toast that power. We toast that energy. We toast that life. You know what I'm saying? The ancestors that have created all of the universes. We toast it by whatever name you choose to call it. And we say, I say, from there we move on to our personal ancestors. And I love this part, family. We toast those grandmothers and grandfathers, those fathers and those um, um, uncles and those aunts. You know what I'm saying? Those mothers, those friends and those cousins. We toast those those people who help make us who we are today. We give thanks to them. We 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 cherish their memory. You know what I'm saying? We we, we toast them. So if you have any names that y'all want me to shout out, go and post them up on Facebook right now. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. You know what I'm saying? We toast those ancestors. I go down my family line. I wait for some of y'all to share some of y'all's. We toast uh, Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin and Texana Davis, Summer Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walter, Chris Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, um, uh, Montague Pittman uh, Jamon Jones, uh, Elder Hairston, um, um, Elder... Donaldson, Dr. Mary Ann Williams, um, Jamon Jones, um, Miss Tremaine says Jenny Knight, salute, um, John Fillard, Normal X, Mama Malika, Sepet Mayat Ra. No more X, if I didn't say him already. Um, Chuck Bell. Um, si says Harry Graham. Tremaine says Chuck Bell. Um, any others? We want to salute and we want to remember our ancestors, man. Lord have mercy. So all those that we mentioned and all those we didn't mention, we allow our ancestors to be present with us. We allow them to be active in our life. We remember them. We send them our shade. We send, send them energy so that they can send back to us. We toast them and we say, I shay. From there, we move on to this present moment because this is where our power lies, right? In this moment, today is a moja. And it's a memorial day. It's our ancestral day. And we toast this day. We toast this moment. And we say ashe. Uh, Sas also throws in Wallace M. Wright Jr. We salute. Um, we salute him. Um, Joan Woods from Sa. Any others? Alright. So now. We salute this moment. From there we move to our future. Our children, our children's children, on to infinity, family, everything that we build, everything we think, say, and do, it affects at least seven generations. So we want to toast those generations, right? We want to toast them in advance so they could toast us, right? We, 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 we realize that all the information that we're gathering, all of the, the, um, all the learning that we're doing, all the experiences that we have, we're finding ways to transmit it to the next generation. So we want to do a good job. So we salute them and we remember them before their time. So they can remember us when it's our time to be poor for. So we toast the future generations. And the last part of that, um, this toast, I want to toast you. I want to toast your struggles. I'm going to toast your victories. I want to toast your, I want to toast your joys 
and I want to toast your sorrows. I want to toast your life, right? I toast each and every last one of you, and with that, we say, I say, I say, I say, I say. I wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Mm. I'm going to eat that damn. Listen, as soon as this is done, I'm eating that damn ginseng root. Woo! I say, woo! Damn! Listen, that, woo! Man! That shit ages every day. It changes every day. I swear, it's like a nice... Woody, damn! All right, so now I can't wait to. Ooh! All right, y'all, hold on. I done scared some people off. Look at that. Now we're going to sample. I want y'all to get a good look at that root right there. That's been in there for seven days, just brewing, and it looked like it's looked bigger than when I put it in there. It was small, man. I, 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 I bullshit you not. It was small. Look how big that damn thing done got. Now, we're going to... I can't wait to taste this one. Hope it don't kill me. If it does, y'all know, call the mercy. Send them to my house. But I'm bold. Wipe the, what, wash that out for me so we could get a good... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, family. I don't know. I'm kind of scared now. Woo! That pure 100% ginseng. Just going to take a little bit because I'm going to let this one sit just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Live. Y'all see the color? Look at that. Y'all see that? Dang, I don't smell nothing. It's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Found it, family. I, I'm getting shatters. I'm shivering. Hot damn. Hey, Clee, give me a spoon, please. Yes, sir. Woo! Man, hey. Oh, listen. I did it wrong with this one. I did it wrong. I did it too soon. You want to try this, Clee? Woo! Man! Hot damn! Man! What you think, Clay? Too strong? What is that it? That was bitter. Woo! Man! Listen. This ginseng. Now, this is different than the other ginseng. Look. Look at the root. I'm listening. I need y'all to understand. Fellas, man, I don't know. I don't know. I, I might not be able to sell that one. Uh, I, you, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. And on top of that, I got two signals on this one, so I, it ain't. It might be my excitement. It might be the fact that this ginseng is just tingling. It's killing me. Man, hold on. I might not share this with the world. I might, I might, I just can't do it. I can't, I don't know if I can share this with the world. I don't even know if I want to unleash this. Lord have mercy. 
Mm. All right, so, so, and I'm still working with the Almalika hair and body butter. Um, I'm looking good. My skin is shining. I'm giving. I'm getting everything that I was getting before. Y'all need to go and sample that. That's uh, Almalika hair and body butter. The number is is the Lotus Yanni Spa. 937-705-5558 um, Also, take the Nguza Saba challenge I tried to come up with a way to kind of outsmart this damn thing So I won't be struggling Did it pop up? It didn't pop up Uh oh Uh oh, my wife is on the line Let's see. Let's see if I get it to go. Ah, there you go. All right. So my YouTube channel is on there because I'm about to go to the YouTube. I'm about to get off of here, Facebook, and I'm about to finish on um, YouTube, and it will be posted up soon. All right. I want to thank everybody that joined in. Uh, Miss Victoria, my brother Sai, and his beautiful family. Miss Aisha. Miss Tremaine, I want to send shots out to y'all. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for allowing me to toast your ancestors. It was a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? And have a great Memorial Day. All right. Um, I'm gonna be interviewing Miss Aisha about um her her Lotus Yanni Spa, as well as the Almalik and Hair and Body Butter. And I just want to know. If she could make me some with, with the frankincense in it, you know, I need a bigger bottle because the, the letters is kind of small for uh, the YouTube crowd. And, you know, I need a bigger bottle, girl. I need a bigger bottle. Send me send me a bigger bottle. Uh, let's see who else is. Somebody just popped up. Peace, God. Peace to you, too, Sai. Y'all take the Nguza Saba Challenge. Um, I ain't laughing. I want a bigger bottle. I want a bigger bottle. We're going to have to make another trade. You know what I'm saying? Listen, y'all. Straight business. Fam. Fam, check this out. We need to start bartering. Right? She got a skill. I got a skill. Everybody got a skill. Let's start trade, man. We got our own economic system. We, we, cut, we cut the West Asian all the way out if we want. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, YouTube. I'm on my way out. And, I mean, no. Facebook, I'm on my way out. YouTube, we're about to get it started. We're going to be talking about fasting today, right? I did one day fast so far. I'm going to see how far I could go. See, there I go. I'm getting extreme. I don't know how far I'm going to go, right? But, I'm about to, I'm on this fast right now. And it's not intermittent. I didn't eat yesterday. We're going to see what we're going to do today. If I can make it past the barbecue or whatever they got, you know, even though I don't eat a lot of that shit. But, you know, people be putting stuff up for me. I don't, you know, that's just how it is. All right. So, I'm out, Facebook. Thank you for joining me and thank you for allowing me to toast your ancestors. And, and thank you for toasting my ancestors with me. You have a great Memorial Day, or better yet, an Ancestral Day, right? Peace. All right, fam. My YouTube beautiful, beautiful family, all right? Yo, those of you that are on the 21-day Ngusaba Challenge, I salute you. Some of y'all should be starting today. Right, because it is an emoji. We start on emojis, right? And you know, there's no time limit to it, so you ain't got to worry about it. And if you're not making it through, you just start over and try again, right? So we're gonna talk about the importance or the importance of the fasting, right? We talked about intermittent fasting yesterday. Today we're gonna talk about uh, talk about prolonged fast and the possible benefits. Now. I want y'all to understand that I do research on this stuff. 
um, I find information and I share the information. We are talking about prolonged fasting. And um, um, those that are taking the challenge, like the fasting is not a total, totally necessary necessary part of um, the, the Ngusa Saba challenge. But, you know what I'm saying? But, it's a, it's a great benefit. So, we do... I'm doing the um, intermittent fasting, or I call it the warrior diet, right? Where, you know, I'm eating at certain times during the day and stuff like that. But every now and then, it's good to do a prolonged fast. And we're going to find out why right now. Now, if you look at the title, I'm calling it the, the myth of the three meals a day, right? Because... In my research, I was trying to figure out where this three meals a day came from, right? And the 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 closest thing that I come to from from my personal looking around, this looks like it's something that was created by corporations to kind of keep us eating, right? Because they call them three squares a day. What's a square? A square is like a box. Three squares a day. They get us boxed in into I got to get some more of this. I'm sorry, family. I'm I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? I got to get some more of that, right? Um three three meals a day keeps us boxed in, right? You know what I'm saying? Keeps us boxed into a, a, a certain mind state, right? We don't give our bodies time to recuperate, to 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 um to get rid of all of the toxins that have compiled and we're constantly throwing food at our system and it uses up internal energy so that we can't be clear on what's going on around us. We can't see clearly what's going on around us because we got our system, our internal systems working on constantly getting rid of this food. And when we give our body a break, because that's all a fast is, is giving your body time to get rid of stuff. Giving your body time to rest, right? Your heart is constantly pumping. Your stomach is constantly working. And the only time you get a fast or a break is when you sleep, right? And we should be able to extend this the courtesy of allowing our body to rest, allowing our body to excrete the toxins, um, we should be. We should do that. Why? Because there's benefits to it. And I'm gonna share some of the benefit, benefits that I found. Um, hold on. Let me take a sip. Hot damn! I don't know because I don't know whether it's because I ain't got no food in me. I don't know what it is. This shit is. The world is shaking. The world. Family bring is bringing tears to my eyes. Damn. Did I could come up with something like this? Womankind, y'all need to look out. Don't let your man get hold of this. Oh, God. It's just, I'm just tearing up. Back to the fast. Get out the box. Get out the box. Seriously. Get out of the three squares a day. Escape while you can. It's bad enough. We, I mean, everything we eat in is processed. Everything we eat in is denatured. Everything we eat in has been uh, 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 fried, dyed, and laid to the side. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? We ain't getting live enzymes, live bacteria, and stuff no more. We getting all this shit that's just, I mean, and, and it's just piling up in us. And then on top of that, they tell us, you need to eat it three times a day. Think about this, family. Not only is the food messed up, but the water. So now, if you, if you, you think it's bad for you as an adult, think about your children. We send our children to a school where they give them breakfast and lunch. And then... They all drink out of water fountains that we know where the water is coming from and water is highly fluoridated, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, 
it, it's crazy, right? They got, I mean, our, our children are being, they're being trained and fed this stuff on a daily basis. So if it's bad for you as an adult, imagine what's going on for our children, right? I'm, I'm getting my money together because my kids will not be drinking out the water fountain. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm I'm sending about I'm send, I'm gonna start sending bottled water, and in a minute I'm gonna start. I mean, sending some of their meals too. I mean, well, I ain't got to send it because my kids go to school with me. You know what I'm saying? I got to set up. You know what I mean? We don't be fucking around, right? All right, all right. Here we go. Prolonged fasting rebu reboots the immune system. Did y'all hear that? Prolonged fasting. Reboots the immune system. I'm reading from the medical news today. All right. Results of a new study on mice and a phase one trial of humans suggest that prolonged fasting cycles, prolonged cycles of fasting for two to four days at a time, not only protect against toxic effects of chemotherapy, therapy, but also trigger stem cells, regeneration of new immune cells, and clearing out of old damaged cells. So, when we fast, the prolonged fast, right? According to the study, it basically reboots the system. You know, like, for example, when your phone is acting up, what do you do? You turn it off. You you restart it, right? What they saying is fasting is a reboot for your system, your body system. Do y'all? I mean, can I mean? Do you understand? Listen, listen. What what we have learned so far is that we don't need. I don't. I'm doing the chlorooxygen because I want to do it, right? Right. I'm doing it. I'm doing the oils because I want to do it. But really, all we need is cold water, breathing, and fasting. According to what we have studied so far, if we do those three things every now and then, take a cold shower, right? Or a cold bath, expose our body to cold temperatures, right? Breathe properly. Stop breathing through our mouth. Breathe through our nose. Every now and then, hold our breath. Practice breath exercises at least 10 minutes a day. Right? And fast. We can overcome any, all oh, damn near anything. And live a high quality life. Now, what do I mean by that? Because a lot of people are concerned about living 120 years. Right? Or, or prolonging life. Now, whether I don't know where you stand on that, but I'm saying having a quality life, right? Regardless of whether I die at 80 or 60 or 120, I want to have quality life, right? Where I could go out with the same knowledge that I have. I could, I could look at my children. I could recognize them. I could get up and I could walk. I can drive if I need to. I can still be nimble with my mind and still have conversations, right, with people that I love. Quality life, right? See, because a lot of people just prolonging life. They taking these pills and all these drugs and they out their mind. They in constant pain. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 the whole existence is driven by this medical industry, right, that's Giving them pills that preserve their suffering. Because that's all we doing. We're preserving suffering. And we're paying people to preserve our suffering. And I'm saying hell with that. Right? If we learn how to fast. If we learn how to take cold showers and can discipline ourselves. To get our body to get that shock into our system. And we breathe right. And move a little bit. Right? You know all the components that I that that I have compiled for you on the uh, in Guza Saba Challenge and eventually the Warrior Training, the twenty one week Warrior Training, is all we need. 
And, you know, I mean, it's crazy. So let's let, let's go through this. The study by researchers at the University of Southern California um, in Los Angeles uh, and published in the journal A Cell Stem Cell is the first to show that natural interventions can trigger regeneration of an organ or a system through stem cells. The team believes the findings could benefit people with immune system damage. For example, if they have received chemotherapy treatment for cancer. It could also benefit the elderly whose immune system are weakened through aging, making them more susceptible to disease. The scientists say prolonged fasting appears to shift stem cells of the immune system from a dormant state to an active state of self-renewal. Results from experiments with mice and phase one human clinical trials showed that long periods of fasting significantly lowered levels of white blood cells. In the mice, it flipped a switch that changed the signaling pathways of the hemo hematopoic stem cells, a group of stem cells that generate blood in the immune system. We could not predict that prolonged fasting would have such a remarkable effect in promoting stem cell based regeneration on hematopoic system, says Walter Longo, a professor of gerontology and the biological science at USC, Davis School of Gerontology, the director of the USC Longevity Institute. He says that when you stop eating, the body uses up stored glucose, fat, and ketones, and also recycles worn out damaged immune cells. What we started noticing in both our human work and animal work is that white blood cell count goes down with prolonged fasting, he explains. Then when you refeed, the blood cells come back. So we started thinking, well, where does it come from? Family. Reboot. Reboot. Right? I mean, it's, it, it, it's simple. It's like they say two to four days. Right? What if you was to do that every other month? Right? Just give your system time to reboot. And what else happens? They also talk about, like, they also talk about being able to overcome habits. Right? Unhealthy habits. Right? Resetting your whole system. Right? In mice, prolonged fasting replenishes worn out immune cells with new ones. In mice, prolonged periods of fasting repeated cycle. In mice, prolonged periods of fasting repeated cycles of two to four days with no food over the course of six months killed older and damaged immune cells and generated new ones. During each fasting cycle, the drop in white cell in white cell levels triggered a stem cell based regeneration of new immune cells. In particular, prolonged fasting reproduced PKA, an enzyme that the team had previously discovered is involved in extending lifespan in simple organisms. Other Other studies has, all, has also linked PKA to the control of stem cell self-renewal and plural potency, the extent to which they can become different cell types. So not only does this shit renew white blood cells, right? It, it, it helps with this thing called PKA um, that controls um, stem cell... The re Hold on. All right, for those who don't understand stem cells. Now, I'm not a scientist, right? But stem cells are like the template cell out of which all other cells come. So what this what this thing just said, the extent to which they can become different cell types. So not only does it help with the immune system, not only does it recycle the old material from old white cells and develop new 
cells and renew the immune system, it also triggers something within the stem cells that makes it possible for them to become different cells. So this means that your whole system is regenerated because now you got new stem cells that are working inside of you that could possibly re replace old broken shit. The stem cells, I mean, because think about this. With the stem cells, if, if you've been following some of this stuff and, and other things, with stem cells, they're able to grow any damn cell. That you could take a stem cell and grow a heart cell, you grow a liver cell, you could grow, you could grow a neuron. You know what I'm saying? From stem cells, you're able to make anything. So that you you get this, do you get these stem cells flowing around in you after you start fasting that can replace old broken shit inside of you? I mean, I'm just I'm just reading. Prolonged fasting also led to a drop in 1GF1, a growth factor hormone linked to aging, cancer, and tumors, tumor progression. Switching off the gene for PKA, PKA is the key step that triggers the stem cells to shift to regeneration. Professor Longo says, it gives the okay for stem cells to go ahead and begin proliferating and, and rebuild the entire system. Now, I just said that shit, didn't I? I mean, it kind of messed it up. I should have just waited, but... I just said that shit. See, this is the point, right, family? We need to use our mind because we need to be able to take this information and we need to be able to expand it. And some of y'all minds are more brilliant than minds, right? So y'all gonna be y'all gonna take this to a whole nother level. See, this this basic research, right? Using our body as a laboratory, experimenting, trying new things, growing. Oh, family. Oh, family. The the greatness that um, this, um, I mean, the greatness that we're sitting upon. We are in an age right now where people. I don't even go into it. And the good news, he adds, is that the body also rids itself of parts of the system that might be damaged or old, the inefficient parts during the fast. Now, if you start with the system heavily damaged by chemotherapy or aging, fasting cycles can generate. Literally, a new immune system. The three-day fast protected cancer patients from toxic chemo effects. In a clinical trial involving a small group of cancer patients, the team also found that the fasting for three days before receiving chemotherapy protected them from its toxic effects. While chemo, now think about if they had did the fasting before they had caught cancer. While chemotherapy saves lives, it also causes significant damage to the immune system. And the team hopes their findings show that fasting may help to minimize some of that harm. Meanwhile, there is no suggestion that people should try to get these same effects by prolonged fasting, which should only be done under medical supervision. Now, what is that saying? They're saying you should not do any prolonged fast unless your doctor know about it, right? Uh, that's your choice. That's your choice, family, right? That's your choice. Because I'm like, I'm like, damn, I'm healthy, right? I could do a three-day fast. I done did that shit before. I, I did. You see, because now this is how they get us caught, right? Because we're scared not to eat. I'm telling y'all, being hungry is healthy, right? And I ain't saying take it to no damn extreme. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all, I mean, because I mean, I'm extreme, right? But some of y'all are beyond me, right? Y'all be taking yourself to all time. Listen, family, look, do it with some common sense, right? You know what I'm saying? Do it with some common sense. But I'm sitting up here like, if fasting, can do this? If cold water can do that, what, what, what we, we done research, if breathing properly, what the hell else do we need? Right? We could be living to, we could be living to 90 to 110 years old. Just telling you, be like, what's your secret? Well, I take cold showers. I breathe. I 
Drink that and roll, sir. Good quality of life. More clinical studies are now needed to test the effectiveness of the approach in humans and also examine the side effects. Family, we can be this test group. We can fast, right? And we can let people know, right? How do you feel? You know what I'm saying? How do you feel after you fast? What if you what if you was to what, what, what if you was to incorporate this bi weekly? Bi monthly? Monthly. What type of effects would it have on your body? Right? I mean because like what what's two to four days no eating? Especially if you're doing intermittent fasting, right? So you you already got, got it to where you eating between a four and a five hour period of time. Right? Some of y'all might be eating strong and be able to do it between a three hour period of time where you're eating at one period of, in during the day. So now, what if you just say, boom, you, you do that for a while and then all of a sudden you say, all right, cool. We're not going to eat for two days. We're not going to eat for three days. We're not going to eat for four days. What will happen? What type of health benefits would you would you receive? Now, I'm over my 30 minute mark, so I'm going to continue, right? Those that need to stop right now, go on and stop. You know what I'm saying? I salute you. But let's let's keep it because I got I got some more stuff here. More clinical studies are now needed. All right, Professor Long says they are now investigating whether these same regeneration effects work with other systems and organs as well as the immune system. His lab is already planning further animal studies and clinical trials. All right. So let's get off of that. All right. Fasting for three days. This is the telegram. Fasting for three days can regenerate entire immune system. Study fine. So this is a report on the study that we just read. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because look, fam, we ain't just worried about weight loss, right? We worried about health, right? I'm not, we're not. Those of you on the journey, those of you on GME journey, we're not fasting to lose weight. We're fasting for the health benefits, right? We we need to boost the, we need to, we need to, we need to regenerate our immune system for all of this shit that they got coming, right? We need to be drinking our ambrosia. We need to be taking our oils. We need to be doing our showers. And if we don't got none of that, we need to be making sure we breathe and taking our showers, right? Drinking our water. So that we can be healthy, right? So that we can communicate, so that we can, so that we can share information and grow. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's ultimately about. So that we can be strong for our tribe. So that we can be quick of mind and, and we can jump on opportunities and produce some future wealth for our children. Right? Not just for us. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not on this just for me. Right? I'm on this for our children. I'm on this for the future generations, what I'm toasting for every day. Right? I, I'm building on what my ancestors left me. Right? I'm taking that and I'm working on it in and now so that when Cleveland get old enough and Gina get old enough and Sasha get old enough and your children get old enough, maybe they can link up and do something big. If we can't do it, we, we owe it to our children at least give them the opportunity. Right? And and that don't come, the opportunity don't come in poverty. It don't come in poverty. And our children don't deserve poverty. Right? And and just because we're not making the top dollars, it don't mean that we can't be healthy. And then on top of that, family, hold on. I shared with y'all yesterday. I got to share this with you. For those of you that's looking for a job, for those of you that's looking for a field to get into. One of the first questions, I read this yesterday, I want y'all, one of the first questions any reasonable listener asks when presented with the fact that there's a $4 trillion underground economy dedicated to altered states. One of the reasons I'm fasting, one of the reasons I'm doing intermittent fasting, one of the reasons that I'm doing the ambrosia, one of the reasons that I will run one of the reasons I'm doing the coconut oil is I'm looking for the altered state. See, because this is the issue, family. West Asians, right? When they conquered 
When they came through and they rolled through and they conquered, the first thing they destroyed was our connection with the Creator. See, because in our traditions, right? In our traditions, let me, I'm going to explain just like this. Listen, and I want you to listen very closely. In West Asian traditions, they go to churches and temples to talk about God. In our traditions, we go within and talk to God. That's the altar state. That's what ultimately, that's what the 21 Day and Guza Saba Challenge is about. It's about you getting inside and speaking to the Creator, to your God, to your ancestors, yourself. You don't need, see, because ultimately, the book is a guide. The book is not the law. The book is a guide. You know what I'm saying? The religions is a guide, and they're all guiding you back towards you, back to so that you can form the connection with the creator you need. So when we fasting, we're not fasting to lose no goddamn weight. We fasting so that we can, so that we can harness this alternate state so that we can go inside and we can push past our pain. We could push past our hunger. We could push past all that so that we could get in contact with something bigger than, this, than all this shit out here around us. We get in contact and, and commune with that force that created all of this. That's the ultimate goal. That's the ultimate goal, right? That's what culture does. Culture, culture helps you express, express yourself, but expressing from within the people and it comes out, right? So now what happens? The culture builders or the nation builders or whatever you want to call it are those individuals that are able to go inside and bring out new things. What happens? When a culture goes stagnant, the people begin to die, right? When we get stuck in old traditions and we're doing it just because that's what our ancestors did rather than going to the place where our ancestors went to get the goddamn information. That's when we have a problem. We put it down in the book and we 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 go through the book and we got to find the chapters and shit and we could quote and all that is good. But hey, you're talking about God. It's time for us to start talking to God. Right. We don't need I don't need no apostle. I don't need no prophet. I don't need you don't need none of that. What you need is to have a conversation with your ancestors and your creator yourself. And that's what that's that's what I'm striving for, man. That's what I'm trying to get you to. Right? That's where I'm trying to get to myself. Because every now and then I get little glimpses of it. And I don't want a glimpse no more. I want a full vision so I can bring back what my people need so that we can get out this fucking situation. Right? So that we can move to the next level of existence. You know what I'm saying? Because when, and this is what people don't even understand. Because a lot of people get upset with me because I'm always talking about my people, right? But I understand that when I take care of mine, right? The whole world benefits. Many of us, we're trying to take care of everybody. When I take care of mine, the whole world benefits. Right? When, I, when I'm able to elevate black folks, everybody around us is going to grow. Can't help it. Why? Because we 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 had that type of vibe that once we get it, everybody else gets it. The whole world is waiting for us. The whole world is waiting for us. The whole world is dependent on us to bring it back. Uh, family, I wish you a great ancestral day. Other people call it Memorial Day. I wish you a great emoji, and um, I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.